The Christmas Adventure of Christian the Hedgehog and a Brave Little Mouse Named Casper, who rescued maiden Pippa Wistar and married her on New Year's Eve. By Tamara Tachubaya. Christmas Eve was approaching, and the mice had to start getting ready for the holiday. Casper the Grey Mouse, as always, promised to bring the best cheese for the family feast. He had a friend called Christian, a hedgehog, who lived nearby, and Casper went to ask him if they could go together to the cottage near the forest. Christian promised to help Casper, and so they went together with high hopes of success. Christian the hedgehog knew the ins and outs of the cottage, because he spent his winters there when people were not around. Christian and Casper decided to look in the cellar and attic first, thinking they might find some hidden bits and pieces. People often left things like bread, cheese, nuts, or fruits, as well as things they no longer needed. Christian and Casper hoped, at the very least, to be lucky enough to find some food to take away with them. The hedgehog and mouse entered the cottage through the back garden. There was a hole in the door for the dog, so he could get into the house when the owners weren't at home. That's how the two friends, Casper and Christian, snuck inside and immediately began to rummage, looking into every corner. But in such a big house, with the mouse and the hedgehog being so small, moving from one room to another was taking a lot of time. So they decided to split up to search. Suddenly, Casper's eyes were dazzled, and he was left frozen in amazement, awe, and delight. For in front of him, stood a snow-white mouse. To Casper, she looked like a bride waiting for her groom, and just the thought of marrying her paralyzed him. He couldn't think what to do or say, but knew he didn't want to miss his chance, for such luck comes rarely in the life of the average gray mouse. Casper saw that the white mouse hadn't noticed him, so he took a moment to smooth the fur on his head and back to make himself look more decent, he sat down in a corner and began with his tiny paws to smooth the ruffled hair all over his little body as he wanted to look handsomer and smarter for the lady mouse. When Casper decided he looked as decent as his mother had taught him to be, he went over to the Snow White Bride, once again finding himself in awe. For close up, she was even more beautiful, with perfect, spotless, snow white fur, pink lips and ears and legs and even a tiny nose of the same beautiful peach color. In amazement, he nearly lost consciousness and completely lost track of how long he stood there admiring her. Then he truly opened his eyes and found that around her were the bars of a cage. He walked toward her cautiously. Miss, I'm sorry to disturb you, he began hesitantly. Do you need help? Good evening, dear gentlemen, she replied. Where are you from? I've never seen such a living thing. Are you from India or somewhere distant? My name is Pippa Wistar. I was brought up by a man in this house. He gave me an incredible education, the likes of which no one else in my family received. He taught me how to find my way out of a maze. He allowed me to climb up to his shoulders and fed me by hand. Casper the Grey Mouse almost swallowed his tongue in astonishment at what he heard. He could never have imagined that a human could be kind to any mouse, and guessed it was because Pippa was such a beauty. Casper himself was confident that he was very ugly. The reason he felt this way was because the mistress in his house standing in the kitchen where he ate bits of cheese and breadcrumbs on the floor, had shouted so loudly one day on seeing him, screaming and calling for help, then jumping up on a chair to make sure Casper couldn't get to her. Casper ran away, ashamed and offended. That was the first time he realized that he must be ugly. He ran to find his mother, who loved him dearly. She began licking him and sobbing with him. Mother nestled him close to her chest so that he could hear the rhythmic sound of her beating heart, and there he fell asleep in peace. Even though his mother had many sons and daughters, grandsons and even great-grandchildren, she always loved Casper in a special way. 
However, since he had grown up, there were so many little brothers and sisters that he became ashamed to remain so attached to his mother's tail and began an independent life. He liked his new lifestyle and new friends, but he always fondly remembered his family, especially at the Christmas feast, fetching slices of excellent Swiss cheese. The place where he found it every year remained his long-kept secret, and he was respected for his resourcefulness, daring, and skill. Suddenly, Casper heard his name. Casper! Casper, come over here! Christian called. Casper suddenly remembered his hedgehog friend. He'd completely forgotten about him after they split up. But right now he had more important things to think about. He had to get Pippa out of that cage! It turned out that the door lock of the cage could easily be opened from the outside, and in a flash, Pippa was able to escape. She knew the way to the room where they had heard Christian's voice. Please follow me, she said. Pippa went ahead, and Casper followed. Pippa scrambled up the curtain all the way to the ceiling. At the top, between the curtain and the window, was a gap enabling them to climb into the wall and to safety. Soon, they were in a room that did not look like any Casper had ever visited, and he had seen a lot of rooms. The light was on, and the room seemed to the little gray mouse as bright as the sun. Overcome by fear, his instinct told him to run away, but Casper didn't want to appear a coward in front of Pippa. The bright light swam in circles before his eyes, and, as he was accustomed to the dark, he was temporarily blinded. But he would readily endure this pain for the sake of Pippa. Suddenly, he heard his name again. Casper, look up! I'm here! Casper narrowed his eyes and looked around, then ran with Pippa toward the sound of his friend's voice, knowing his instinct wouldn't fail him they met a sight that astonished them. In the room stood a pine tree from the forest, completely decorated with bright stars, shining and twinkling. The branches were hung with colorful, glittering wrapped sweets, nuts, and candies of all sorts. Under the tree, there was a small sled. The friends collected everything they found and packed it on the sled. Casper picked up the remaining cheese slices from the table and Christian grabbed fruits and nuts. Casper and Christian then pushed the sled away, and Pippa jumped inside as they made to leave the cottage and go home. They stopped at the top of the stairs. How can we get down from the second floor, they wondered. We went up easily, but how can we bring down the heavy sled, they asked, puzzled. Suddenly, a dog rushed into the room and started running toward them. Casper and Pippa hid in the sled, but the dog found them and picked up the sled with them inside. Christian quickly curled into a ball. The dog batted him with his paw and struck his spikes and yelped in pain. Then the hedgehog rolled down the stairs with the dog following furiously behind, still with the sled and Casper and Pippa in his mouth. Christian rolled through the hole in the front door and jumped quickly out into the garden. It was snowing outside, and the ground was covered. It was freezing, and the dog, not liking the cold, dropped the sled and went back inside. Casper and Christian pulled the sled easily across the snow, with Pippa sitting on top. They were covered in snowflakes by the time they reached home, and everyone ran out to meet them, cheering. As the mice got off the sled, the snow on their fur melted, and while Casper's gray soon showed through, everyone was surprised to see how white Pippa remained. Casper's family tried to brush the snow from her and found her as white as ever. She must be a bride, they decided. They're planning a surprise wedding. Soon after, Casper won beautiful Pippa's heart and asked her for her hand in marriage in front of everyone. Long live the bride and groom, the mice sang, taking Casper and Pippa and throwing them into the air with joyful shouting. Then, together, they celebrated the festive feast with a funny jury. Casper married the beautiful Pippa on New Year's Eve. Thanks to the hedgehog's loyalty, 
Casper's family no longer lacked cheese and had it not only at Christmas, but also on New Year's Eve. A huge lump of cheese for Casper's whole mouse family. Casper's mother was the happiest mouse in the mouse commonwealth, so proud of her intelligent and noble son. Casper and Pippa had little ones, so many that it was impossible to count, and they were the most beautiful pups in the world. Like their mother, they had peach-colored paws and noses, with beautiful gray manes like their father. Pippa taught her children to find their way through mazes, just as the human had taught her, but they never needed it in their lives. They lived happily and forgot how old they were, because love and happiness have no limits or boundaries. The End